Welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I'm excited to announce that my Patreon is finally live and now you can enjoy exclusive content before it's released on YouTube for just $2 a month. You can find the link in the description or comments. As always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Devil's Fuenjutsu, Part 5. There was silence all around. Demons, angels and fallen ones tried to digest what they saw here, but this was going badly. Meanwhile, Ashen looked around, but I didn't find anything worthwhile. Nodding to his thoughts, the shinobi headed towards the witnesses. Ashen, is it true what Valley said? Rias asked as she watched the shinobi approaching them. Yes, but that's not what I would like to talk about now, unnoticed by everyone, Ashen made hand seals with one hand, summoning several dozen shadow clones. Seraphal, have you thought about my proposal? He asked the demon queen. What? The girl was confused. Will you go on a date with me? I. I can't. No, I'm sorry, but no, the girl said, blushing. Hearing this, Uzumaki, of course, became sad, but he quickly pulled himself together. After thinking for a few seconds, he admitted to himself that he had succumbed to the memory of the past world. Seraphal is not the girl he fell in love with in the previous world and with whom he lived a long and happy life. I see. Sorry, but I have only two options, said the shinobi, after which, behind the backs of everyone present, his shadow clones appeared, imposing a fuin of paralysis on everyone. Watch Seraphal, Azazel, Sirzex and Mikhail more carefully, they are quite strong enough to break the seal, Ashen told his clones. Partner, I will help. Strengthen, strengthening 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 broadcast diedrig shouted strengthening the clones and their fuin thank you partner ashen what does it mean sears x asked why did you do it brother rias was surprised realizing that she couldn't move either those around them panicked feeling helpless and not understanding what was happening only azazel was silent ashen you said that you only have two options can you explain? Azazel asked, after which everyone fell silent. Yes. You shouldn't have known about my origins. In truth, I thought about doing this with Sirzex even when I first met him. Sirzex, have you already told anyone about me? About the fact that I am? Your brother? No, the demon said confidently, and Uzumaki was convinced that he was not lying. When you all found out about my origin, you probably won't leave me and my clan alone. I am not a gremory and I don't want to be counted among them. From this situation, I see only two ways out. The first is to kill all of you. After the attack by the Chaos Brigade, everyone will think that they killed you. But then war will come. Mikhail was scared, like I said, I don't care about the world. My clan will not be harmed, I will take care of it. Hmm. You said there were two ways out. What is the second one? Azazel asked. That's why I like you, Azazel. You know how to work with your brain. Second way out, I will block all your memories and replace them. You will not remember what you learned today, and Sirzex. You will completely forget that you ever learned about my birth, Uzumaki said. You don't want to be part of our family that bad? Rias asked, almost crying. I didn't belong to her. And why are you crying? Before this, you treated me like a mercenary. I was fine with that. Approaching the girl, Uzumaki put his hand on her forehead and penetrated her subconscious. Having found the desired part of the mind, he put a seal on it, blocking Rhea's memory. The rest of those present here went through the same procedure, and the last one was Azazel. Friend, maybe I shouldn't erase my memory. I promise, I'll be dumb as a fish, to these words, Uzumaki just smiled. We both know that you won't, sighing. The Fallen nodded his head and Uzumaki sealed his memories. Having finished with all this, Uzumaki looked around at the demons, Fallen and Angels lying on the ground. Nodding to his thoughts, he also lay down on the ground. After a couple of minutes, those around him began to regain consciousness and look around. Oh! Head! What happened here? It feels like I'm after a great hangover! Azazel said, sitting down on the ground and clutching his head. I. I only remember how Ashen fought with Valley, defeating him, and then Biko appeared and saved Valley. And then there was emptiness. Said Mikhail. Ashen, what do you remember? 
The shinobi pretended that he was also injured and only now woke up. I remember sending vacuum bullets to the teleportation seal and they managed to throw some kind of sphere that exploded with bright light, and then there was emptiness. Uzumaki answered. Yes, I also remember something like that. And what was it? Rias joined along with Sona and the servants. No idea, but we signed a peace treaty. Azazel asked, receiving hesitant nods from Sirzex and Mikhail. Well, that's great, I'll go home and drink a couple of glasses of whiskey, or better yet, vodka. Yes, vodka will be better, the fallen man said, smiling dreamily, as he left. I'll probably go too, and you still have to rebuild the academy. That's why you can't organize such meetings just anywhere, Ashen muttered, leaving the academy's territory, and he himself was glad that what had been planned had turned out just fine. Ashen returned home on foot, thinking about this world. It's not that he doesn't like this universe, but he doesn't feel comfortable here either. The stupidity of this world sometimes borders on madness, which is transmitted to the people living here. Maybe the only exceptions were Kuroka, Sharon and Ophis. Although they are not entirely normal, they are at least not as neglected as the others. Yes, even Irina even Zenobia was a little crazy in her faith, and even now Zenobia sometimes greatly surprises the Uzumaki. Ha! Huh. And who else would talk about the madness of others? I am a shinobi, and by their nature they cannot be adequate. What is my madness? Hmm, this is a philosophical question, because for people, their madness is something natural, Ashen reasoned, but the idea about another world found a place in his mind. Find a place where his new clan can live and develop in peace. Upon returning home, Ashina was greeted by a worried Kuroka, Sharon, and Ophis. They all felt strong magical pressure from the academy, but as Ashen asked, they stayed at home. Irina and Zenovia were studying the duties of the Shinigami priests that evening, sitting in a small temple on the territory of the Uzumaki mansion, so they were in the dark. And what happened, NYA? Kuroka asked, trying to feed her fiancé, which he did not resist, having long been accustomed to such a fad of his chosen one. Enjoying his pleasant company, the guy told about what had happened. Well, in the end it turned out that Valley joined a certain, chaos brigade, from what she heard, Ophis looked up from her tea cake for a second, then shrugged her shoulders and returned to her work again, I wanted to take the disappearing dragon from him, but the grandson of the monkey king pulled him out in time, the shinobi finished. Brother is very strong, Sharon nodded, and I had no doubt that Ashen would defeat everyone, NYA. I have a question concerning our entire small clan, Uzumaki said after thinking. And what are you planning? I think more and more often that I want to leave this world. I don't like the fact that at any second demons, fallen and other evil spirits can interfere in our lives. Will you follow me? He asked his new family. Well, of course, we'll go. And, what do you mean, to another world? Hell. Or to the territory of some gods? Kuroka asked. No, this means a completely different world, not connected with all these deities and spirits. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll go anyway. Me too. Where my sister and brother go, so will I, Sharon answered. M. But I don't care. If you're leaving, then I'm with you, Ophis replied when she noticed that they had been staring at her for ten minutes, waiting for an answer. Okay. But everything will need to be prepared, and this will take another half a year. I will have to collect enough victims to open the Shinigami Gate. We will have to pass close to its boundaries, since its dimension concerns almost all worlds. Several days have passed since the meeting of the three factions took place. Recently in Sherwan's class a new student named Ravel Phoenix has arrived. The new student immediately tried to make friends with Sharon, but was met only with indifference and short answers. Realizing that this path was a dead end, the girl tracked down where she had lunch and found Ashen in this place. I know that we didn't part as exactly friends last time, but here we are, the girl said, handing Ashina a box of food to Ashina, who was sitting near the tree, you should be grateful that I prepared this for you, the girl said self-confidently, and the students passing nearby began to whisper. Ashen didn't like the fact that another demoness had entered this academy, so he warned his family to be careful. Taking the box of food, Ashen saw Sharon wrinkle her nose, signaling that something was wrong with the food. Convinced of his suspicions, the shinobi entered Ravel's mind, reading her memories. 
Uzumaki didn't like what he saw. He was an experienced killer and poisoned his victim himself more than once, but now they wanted to slip him food with a special demonic drug that would make the victim a lap dog of a certain person. The Phoenix family decided to make Ashen their slave, having learned all his secrets and ordering their daughter to spend several nights with him in order to receive his blood into their family, and then kill him. Thank you Ravel, I really appreciate it, said Uzumaki, having finished rummaging through her head. Having convinced the girl that he ate everything in front of her, he thought about further actions. Yes. Please. The demoness answered joyfully, running away to her class. Brother, what's there? It smells bad, Sharon said. This is what brought the Phoenix clan the night of big knives, Uzumaki answered quietly, making the girl surprised. As expected, the next day Ravel returned to the underworld, where she and her family began to wait for the drug to take effect. In their opinion, in a week Ashen should climb the wall just to see the love of his life in the person of Ravel. This week, Uzumaki was preparing for the upcoming extermination of one of the demonic families. Uzumaki, as one of the high priests of the Shinigami, taught Irina and Zenovia to illuminate weapons and summon her image from the Grey Isles. Seeing this, the girls were amazed, because they themselves saw a real god, even if only an image. Zenovia had long since forgotten about her crazy idea and devoted herself to studying the art of the death priests. Kuroka just nodded her head in disappointment when she saw this. Honey, why are you so worried? Uzumaki asked, watching the throwing of his beloved cat. She said she would do anything to be with you. I lost so much time teaching her. And why did you need this? The guy was perplexed. That would be more interesting. What are you even doing? You said that you want to revive clan. Or do you want it to be just me and Sharon? I don't mind. We will have many, many kittens. In the end she was already very happy and plunged into dreams, but the shinobi was only surprised at how quickly her mood changed. When the time came, Ashen took a special blade that only the high priests of death should have and moved to hell, to a pre-prepared mark on the territory of the phoenixes. Putting on his shinobi clothes, a shinigami mask and summoning Diedrich's bracer, he headed towards the demon mansion under the cover of darkness. Moving behind the demons who stood guard at the gate, he cut their throats, absorbing their souls into the mouth of the mask. One by one, the demons on the walls fell, losing their souls and not understanding what killed them. The priest's blade killed its victim quickly and in one blow. Having finished with the walls and so as not to raise the alarm, Uzumaki moved on. Patrols sank into the ground or fell unconscious, after which they were sealed in scrolls. The great Uzumaki clan will still need their lives, but killing them one by one, when there are patrols of five to six demons at a time, is long and dangerous, but it was necessary to act quickly and quietly. Having finished with the patrols, Ashen made his way into the mansion. Having created clones, he sent them to look for the demons he needed, sealing and neutralizing everyone living in this house along the way. Servants, cooks, lackeys, guards and warriors. None of them escaped captivity in the scroll, and after half an hour there were only five reasonable ones in the mansion, one of which was Uzumaki. To begin with, he went to the younger members of the demonic clan, in the person of Ravel and Riser, whose magic and powers never returned. Having sealed them, Ashen went to the elder Phoenix. Opening the doors, he quietly approached the sleeping bodies and was preparing to seal them, but suddenly the elder Phoenix woke up, sending a wave of flame at the Uzumaki. Ha! Huh? It's you, pathetic man. What are you doing here? The man shouted, waking up his wife. Your clan wanted to challenge mine. I came for your extermination and you are the last ones left in this house. Ashen answered emotionlessly, and the eyes of the green mask began to emit a red glow. What? What did you do? The woman screamed. That's how. I assumed that everything would not be so simple, but so. In any case, you will regret what you did. I will catch you and torture you half to death, and then treat you to repeat. This will happen thousands of times. For this I won't even spare the tears of a phoenix, the demon said angrily, becoming covered in more and more flames, forcing his wife to run out of the room. Uzumaki suddenly appeared on the demoness's path, punching her in the stomach. The demoness bent over in a fit of pain and wanted to strike with a fist filled with demonic power, but quickly lost that very hand. 
Lord Fennig's wife was from a different demonic family, so she could not recover quickly. Grabbing the demoness by the throat, he moves outside, avoiding a huge stream of flame. Finding himself on the street, he sealed the demoness as well. A couple of seconds and the walls of the house explode, revealing a blazing room, from which the head of one of the demonic pillars slowly flew out on fiery wings. Bastard! The demon shouted, sending waves of fire across the ground. Ashen did not intend to stay here for long, so he decided to use the help of his partner. Partner! Take action! Ashen shouted, shielding himself from the flames behind a stone wall. Finally, Jaegernot Drive! Diedrich growled from his bracer. A second, and the space began to tremble, and a huge dragon appeared on the territory of the Phoenix Mansion. W. What is this? The demon was perplexed, but quickly pulled himself together and launched several fireballs. Ha! Huh? Pathetic demon! You challenged my partner? I will tear you personally? The dragon roared, reveling in freedom, albeit temporary. Now he could fight on his own, it's a pity that the enemy is very weak. Diedrig, I need him alive, Ashen's voice was heard coming from inside the dragon's body. HRRRR. Whatever you say, but free me to fly at least once a month, answered the dragon, rushing at the little demon. Phoenix fought back, sending fire at the dragon, but the huge lizard simply laughed at the demon's attempts, striking with its paws, inflicting wounds over and over again. Which were restored, only each time more and more slowly. Dragon Valley. The dragon shouted, sending an energy wave at the demon, having previously weakened it. At the end, a wounded demon lay on the ground, his legs and one arm missing. His entire body was covered with deep wounds, and his flesh was burned. The dragon slowly approached the demon, shrinking every second until it became a man with scarlet hair, wearing a shinobi costume and a terrifying mask. Fa. Bastard. After. My death. A war will begin in hell for my lands. Do you understand what you've done? Phoenix said, breathing heavily. Ooh? I'm glad that you're still alive, otherwise I thought that the last attack was unnecessary. Said Ashen, approaching the still living demon, you know, your children, wife and servants are still alive. I would like you to watch how I sacrifice them, but I'm not such a tyrant. Having said this, Ashen again took out the priest's blade, looking at which, Phoenix began to tremble. A blow to the heart, and the demon dies, and his soul is pulled into the mouth of the mask, everything here must be destroyed in order to cover his tracks. Stop, I know what you want, but don't do it. Last time I slept for a week, and you just tried it, the dragon panicked, understanding his partner's hint. Don't be afraid, the flame will flare up on its own. You won't have to support him yourself, the shinobi tried to calm him down. RRR. Okay. Just come on quickly. Emoterasu, Ashen said, breathing fire into the already burning building. Moving to one of the nearby hills, Uzumki began to observe. The black flame gradually began to grow, devouring everything in its path, even other flames. Twenty minutes later, Ashen noticed the approach of demons, among whom were Seraphal and Sirzex, in addition, he sensed several more powerful creatures. Nodding his head, he moved home to take a bath, have a good snack and enjoy the hugs of his beloved girl. Asterisk Ajuka, Seraphal and Sirzex felt a huge release of dragon energy, and a few minutes later, servants came running to them, telling them that something was happening on the territory of the phoenixes. Having contacted, the demon lords went to check what had happened, and when they arrived, they saw black flames consuming the once beautiful building, and then moving to the ground, burning it too. The demon lords tried to stop the fire, but the black flames only grew stronger, receiving additional fuel from their magic. No matter what they did, the flames only grew. This scared the demons, is there a way to put out the flame? They couldn't find out, and Ajuka was scared by this power, but he was also curious. Ajuka, as the one who drove progress among the demons, tried to study fire, but all his equipment quickly burned out. The rulers had no choice but to evacuate everyone living in the nearby lands. In for seven days the flame burned, leaving behind dead earth. One third of the Phoenix territory was dead land. To the great happiness of the rulers, after seven days the flame itself died down, but a new one began to flare up. 
The demons could not find a single living Phoenix, and if so, then each of the pillars wanted to tear off a piece of their territory. A new struggle for land began in hell. Equals 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 part 19 equals 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 Ashen was in the basement of his house, surrounded by all possible barriers. On his face was an already familiar mask, and in his hands was a ritual blade of a priest. Placing the scroll on the altar, he opened it, rescuing the nearly dead head of the Phoenix clan. A quick strike from the blade, and the mask absorbs the demon's soul. The same fate befell the rest of the demons, including the heir, heiress and mother of the demonic family. Several hundred souls of demons of various ranks were absorbed by the mask, accumulating the energy of the souls for the benefit of the Uzumaki clan. Did he feel sorry for their lives? No, they went against him and his loved ones, and the past world taught Ashina a lot, including being insensitive to enemies and a good husband, father or head of the clan. Having finished with the sacrifices, Uzumaki made several seals and then struck the ground with his hand. An image of a demon with a blade in its teeth appeared behind the shinobi. No, it was not a shinigami, but only one of her images, created for minor summons. A cold hand reached out to the mask on Ashen's face, touching it with its claws, but after a second the image pulled away hand and melted into thin air. Even so many souls of these devils are not enough, Ashen said disappointedly, rising from the basement and heading to the shower. Asterisk Sirzex sat in his office, running his fingers through his hair. Not only is the faction of the old lords just waiting to stick a dagger in the back, but at the smell of carrion, the demonic clans that had been sitting quietly before came out. Influence, contracts, lands both in hell and in the human world became a tasty morsel for most demons, and he and other lords had to rake all of this. Seraphal is now looking for support from the fallen in the heavens, because they signed a peace treaty. The hope for help did not materialize, because the agreement was about peace and non-aggression by the three parties against each other, and the internal affairs of the other parties do not concern. Because of all this, I had to cancel the meeting with the god of Scandinavia and postpone the signing of the agreement. First, sort out your problems, and then we'll talk about contracts. So, where is the brothel? This was Odin's answer and Sirzex was forced to agree with this. At such moments, Sirzex envied the angels, because everything is simple for them. If they break the rules, they become fallen and this no longer concerns Michael, and when angel cards appeared, allowing them to increase the number of owners of white feathers, paradise began to develop rapidly. Mr. Sirzex, Grafia, who entered, attracted attention. I beg you. Tell me that this is all a bad dream and I will wake up soon, the devil begged beyond belief. Unfortunately, I cannot say this, she did not feel sorry for her husband. Then tell me you brought at least a little good news, no. Just recently it became known that in a skirmish for free lands between Boer and Paimon, Paimon's heir was killed. A full-fledged war breaks out between the clans, and they also attract their vassals. Many demons have a vested interest in owning the Phoenix lands, because there is a chance to find the secret to producing Phoenix tears, she hammered another nail into Sirzek's coffin. Crap. We are in the midst of a new civil war when we have not recovered from past wars. And one more thing. Rias will have summer vacation soon, she was about to return home. No. You can't. The situation in hell is bad. Why am I being modest? The situation sucks. She will be safer in the human world. Sirzek said. A wise decision. Citri and Seraphal decided the same, leaving Sona with the people, Grafia nodded, what should we do now? The old lords will begin to stir, trying to attract the clans to their side. No battles get by, order everyone to be ready for battle. It will be done, Mr. Sirzex, said the maid and the strongest queen of hell, leaving her husband alone. Asterisk Rius, like Sona, were sitting in the occult sciences club. Both demonesses were excited about the things happening in hell, but they could not do anything about it. Rius was sincerely happy about the death of the Phoenix family, but the only one she was worried about from this family was Ravel. The girl knew that such an attitude, to put it mildly, was not good, but the demoness was still angry with this family. But she couldn't even imagine where this would all lead. Rius, what are you going to do now? Vacations are coming soon and the trip to hell is cancelled until the meeting of young devils, and even that is not a fact, 
Sona asked, sipping tea. The youngest daughter Citri had ideas about what happened in hell and even had some suspicions, but these were just suspicions without evidence. There are no witnesses to the disappearance of the phoenixes, as well as evidence that burned in a strange fire that this world has not yet seen. I was thinking of going to the family mansion in the mountains to train the servants. My brother agreed that the leader of the fallen, Azazel, would help me in this matter, but, in my opinion, he will act as a guard. In order to examine Gaspar's artifact, Azazel is ready. I wanted to go and not only that, the red-haired girl said forcedly. You're lucky. I somehow fought off my sister that I wanted to quit my job during this difficult time for demons. Time, so as not to leave me, Sona exhaled, my father asked his queen and knights to train my team and act as guard. The conversation between the heirs of demonic families was interrupted when Azazel burst into the club room and sat down at the table of the club president with a satisfied smile. Ashen followed Azazel. Mr. Azazel, what does this mean? Rias asked, outraged by the behavior of the leader of the fallen. Rejoice. I managed to persuade Ashen to come with us. He will take care of your training, the fallen man said contentedly. But how? Mr. Azazel. You promised that you would help my servants with the artifacts, Rias frowned, realizing that the specialist in sacred mechanisms decided to push them onto Ashina. Calm down, Rias, it's not obvious from Ashen, but he is an excellent artifact in some areas, superior to me. Yes, and he can help with Gasper. The blood of the Master of the Heavenly Emperor will greatly help the development of your Dampir. At this time, I will create a new artifact, Azazlil said quietly at the end. Oh. Well, at least I'm sure of his abilities, and how much did it cost? The girl asked Ashina. It was also worth the trip with you, my brides, sisters and wards, said Uzumaki with a barely noticeable smile, who had long promised to take his household somewhere, five people will go with me. And it's all, Rias asked doubtfully, knowing Ashina's greedy nature, but received only a nod, then I agree. He he. As if we needed your consent, the fallen man remarked. Asterisk, hum, demons, the fallen and the shinobi clan gathered in the mountains. Sounds like the beginning of a joke, said Uzumaki, sitting in the living room of the Grimori mansion, located in the mountains. Ophis sat on his lap, wearing a pink t-shirt, shorts and sandals. Kuroka sat next to him, trying to feed Sharon, but the youngest of the sisters held on stoically, wanting to wait for dessert. Yeah. Issei watched in fascination the hills of Kuroki, dressed in a black kimono. So, you say you found this girl? I don't feel it at all, Azazel asked interestedly, looking at Ophis. Sharon and Kuroka found her. I don't know why or where, but Ophis has a high sensitivity to the magical background. I checked it many times, but could not find the reason. Perhaps an innate gift, but because of this she could not feel normal. I had to use seals to shield her from magic, Ashen answered, braiding the girl's hair. The corner of Rhea's lips began to twitch at what she saw. Just think that one of the most famous and young assassins would just sit and look after a little girl. Ophis herself was eating pudding and enjoying the moment. She seems familiar to me. Girl, have you ever seen me? Azazel asked, standing up and spreading his black wings. Um, dirty crow, said the girl pointing with a spoon at the fallen one. All the demons could hardly contain their laughter, except for Issei, who was fascinated by Kuroka. Ashen was tired of this, so he whispered something to his bride. Kuroka looked at the pervert, seductively licked her lips and made an incomprehensible sign with her hand, disappeared in a cloud of smoke to appear in pink suit. D. Magical girl. Issei said doomly, fainting. Asia, who noticed this, immediately became worried and decided to help her friend. Oh, I knew that we had already met somewhere. Azazel was delighted when he heard Ophis's answer, only my acquaintances call me that. That's what everyone calls you, even when they see you for the first time, and I told her about you, Uzumaki noted. Ophis herself completely forgot about what Ashen told her about this fallen one, and Valley once told her about his adoptive father. But what can I say? She forgot that she had actually seen this fallen one in person several centuries ago, when she had a different appearance. The girl frankly didn't care about everything that was happening, she just enjoyed the silence, the food and the way she was taken care of. For the first time in her entire life, 
She felt so good being in the Uzumaki family. Ashen. Why are you doing this? We're friends, the fallen man was indignant. Do you really think so? The shinobi was surprised. He realized long ago that he could only trust his close family, and trust in friends and allies once cost him his life. Well, of course, we've known each other for so many years, even though they didn't communicate most of the time, Ashen decided not to argue with the fallen angel, because he has long known why Azazel communicates with him. Initially, it was an interest in the unusual skills and strength of a shinobi, and then it was an interest in his sacred mechanism. In truth, Ashen did not like this interest and if the fallen had posed even the slightest threat, he would have already been dead from the poison in the alcohol. Ashina has many opportunities for this. Okay, okay, friend. Now we'll start training. Xenovia, Irina, you will fight Kiba, just put away the Excaliburs and Shinigami blades, we don't want him dead, Uzumaki told the two junior Shinigami priestesses. The girls learned quite quickly and managed to summon the image of the god of death, who initiated them into junior priestesses, giving them two small daggers. Yes, sir, said the girls, who went towards the training grounds along with the knight Rias. Sharon, Kaneko, do you want to play with Akano and Rias? Uzumaki asked his brides. Era era, Ashen wants four girls to play with each other, Akano asked, licking her finger, hee hee. Girl, do you know that cats are one of the most brutal predators? They are playing with their prey, watching as the victim tries to escape, dragging his entrails along the ground, before finishing off, Kuroka asked, and Sharon took out a kanai from the seal on her hand and poked it into the cake. Rias and Akano, who saw all this, sighed nervously. That's great, have fun, Uzumaki said, following the girls with his eyes. I will send clones with Asia and Gasper. Asia needs to learn a lot about the structure of the human body and learn how to use her mechanism to kill her opponent. Hesperus will hone his control over energy in order to supply it to his mechanism in the right quantity. But my mechanism is needed to heal, not kill. Asia whispered when she heard this. Gasper was glad that he could control his mechanism. Asia, what can heal can also kill. If you learn to control the process of restoring your mechanism, you will be able to control the life processes of the victim. Increase a person's sensitivity so that a breath of air seems like a breath of fire, and the blow of a breeze on the skin looks like thousands of needles. Well, I'll also try to teach you how to heal from a distance, the shinobi said, not paying attention to how the girl turned pale. Hey, Asia shouldn't do this, she doesn't like it, Issei, who woke up, was indignant. Ooh. And here is the reason for the death of Asia and everyone else. What do you mean? Issei was surprised. The strength of a team is equal to the strength of its weakest member. Rias has a good team that will not abandon its own, so only. When they try to protect you or save you, they will die. You can't protect them, Ashen said. Issei listened to this and gritted his teeth, realizing his uselessness, my task is to make something like a fighter out of you. Perhaps I will create counterfeit weapons or protection for you. Ashen thought, do you know how to use any weapons, well? Kiba trained me. Yes? Then let's go, said Ashen, creating a clone of Ozzy and Gasper, and he himself went after the pervert. Arriving at the training ground, Ashen unsealed the katana and threw it to Issei. Your task is to kill me, but, then I can hurt you, Issei said. Ha ha ha. You won't even hurt me, Ashen laughed at him. Apparently, Issei did not yet understand the power of a shinobi without feeling it himself. Okay then. Issei shouted, taking the weapon with both hands and running towards the Uzumaki. Taking a step, Ashen avoided the blow and tripped him, causing Issei to fall. And this is what you learned, this way you will never be able to protect anyone. They will take Asia away from you and have fun with her until she breaks and becomes a doll. What? Yes, so. When I found out about you all, I rummaged around and found something interesting, said Ashen. What do you mean? Speak. Why should I talk? One day they will come for her and take her away, turning her into a doll. How can you say such a thing? Well, what's wrong with that? At all times, either force or cunning ruled. If you are strong, but the enemy is smarter and more cunning than you, you will not have time to understand how you are already licking his feet. If you are strong, 
and the enemy is not smart and brave enough, then they will simply be afraid to approach you. The winner takes the wealth and women, it has always been so. All battles and wars were in the name of women, wealth and power. Until you go through it, you won't understand. And you supposedly understand. Do you know how many creatures I killed? Demons, angels, fallen ones, Yukai, there were even gods. I remember how one of the Norse gods asked to kill his brother. By the way, he was smart, that's why he thought of hiring me. Now he is the next heir in the Norwegian pantheon. He he, thunder god, yes, his lightning was strong enough, but without his hammer, he was weak. Why are you telling me this? Yes, so, you won't be able to change anything. Yes, even if they hired me, I would take her myself, the shinobi said, infuriating Issei. I'll kill you, with a new cry, the demon rushed at Uzumaki. You will become a worthwhile fighter for me, said Ashen, teleporting behind the demon's back, a secret technique of two fingers, a millennium of pain. Ashen said as he formed a tiger seal and with two chakra-coated fingers he punched Issei's butt. Ah! The guy shouted, literally flying into the sky. Ha ha ha, partner, this is too cruel, Diedrich laughed. Well, it's a tradition. In my world, the stupidest people were put through this ritual. Yes, I myself went through it once, Ashen said, chuckling. Ha ha ha. Your anal virginity was taken from you, ha 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 ha. Who was that? Hey, well, my teacher was a Jonin girl. Well, at least it's a girl, not so embarrassing. What am I saying? It's still a shame. The dragon did not let up. Asterisk 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 Ashen sat on the roof at night, looking at the stars. He thought about what kind of world to look for and how many more victims would be needed for the transition. He, of course, can go out into the street and kill non-stop, capturing souls and sacrificing them, but Ashen did not consider himself a maniac. What are you thinking about, NYA? Asked Kuroka, who found her fiancé and hugged him. About future, hm? Is this due to the fact that we came with these demons? Yes, you know that there are riots in hell, right? I even know who started it, NYA, the girl smiled. You have no evidence, the shinobi was playfully indignant. And I don't want to be a witness. I will be an accomplice. So why are we here? I am sure that due to internal conflict, supporters of the old demon lords will come out and want to take the sister of the current Lucifer. I want to catch them and find out the full composition and where they are. I can't run myself when the prey comes into my hands. Wow, my predator, NYA, said the girl, laying her head on his shoulder. Equals 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 part 20 equals 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 over the course of a week, Ashen, Sharon and Kuroka tried to train Rhea's servants, but their success was variable. Akano and Kiba tried to get everything out of their training, collapsing at the end of the day. Akano learned new spells based on lightning, and now learned to throw Senbon at enemies or into the ground next to them, after which she created a battlefield for herself, along which lightning rushed. Kiba learned to create not only swords, but also throwing blades, because the enemy will not always allow you to approach him and speed will not always help you reach him. Asia learned to heal from a distance and, in addition, to dampen the enemy's sensitivity, causing him to lose control of his limbs. The girl not only learned to dampen, but also to increase sensitivity, because when the enemy cannot take a single step without feeling hellish pain in his legs, this is no longer an enemy. But the key word is, learned. She still has a long way to go to get a decent result. The real disappointment for Ashina was Rias and Issei. The guy constantly stared at the girls, drooling at the sight of them and, thus, could not train normally. Rias, on the other hand, imagined herself to be the strongest and carried out training carelessly and often did not come at all, locking herself in her room and reading books on tactics for raiding games. Ashen and his girls turned a blind eye to this, because they didn't need all this. Ophis was sitting with a ceiling scroll, taking out ice cream, pastries, cakes and candies. It seemed that she was not interested in all this at all, although she observed all the actions of Rias's peerage. Stop staring at Kuroka, Ashen said as he applied chakra to the seal drawn on Issei. An instant, and a huge pressure fell on the guy's shoulders, causing him to fall and lose control of the mana ball. The black cat itself threw some bonds at Gasper, forcing him to stop them in flight. 
As they say, Pain is the best teacher, and she likes to play with this funny vampire. He, Sorry. Why'd I even need to do this? Pure mana cannot do much damage. Damage. The guy said, trying to get up, but it was all useless. Your biju has cried for this mana, and the control of this very mana leaves much to be desired. With good control, you could create 20 mana balls, rather than the 5 you currently have. Get up, come on, Ashen said, walking up to the guy and kicking him in the stomach, forcing him to bend over. Ha! Huh. Can you make it easier? Stop staring at Kuroka, what was the last thing I told you? Um. Were you crying over something? We'll finish for today. The shinobi said, massaging his temples with his fingers and finally adding chakra to the seal, pressing the guy even harder. Asterisk 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 Ophis sat on the roof of the mansion, looking at the stars. The ancient dragon enjoyed the silence and the new feelings that her new family gave her. Suddenly, at a distance of a couple of kilometers from the mansion, the ancient dragoness felt a surge of magic and a piece of her power, which she once gave. A moment, and Ophis disappears in a purple flash and appears next to a handsome guy in black armor with a cape. He had long brown hair that reached down to his hips and bangs that covered his right eye. What are you doing here? Ophis asked, scaring the guy. Ophis? The guy was surprised. What are you doing here and who are you? The girl asked emotionlessly, taking out a chocolate bar from the ceiling scroll. I? Ha! Huh, what could I expect from such a strong and ancient creature as the Infinity Dragon? I am Shalba Beelzebub, the true heir of Beelzebub. Ophis. Why are you here? We haven't seen you for months, everyone in the Chaos Brigade is worried. It's none of your business, I don't need you anymore, go away, said the girl. I can't just leave. I came here to capture Rias Gremory, the sister of the current Lucifer. Now is the best time to strike a blow at the new overlords, hell is literally boiling. Who is Rias Gremory? Who is Lucifera? The girl tilted her head. Hmm. The red-haired girl is not Lucifer, but Lucifer, Shalba answered patiently. Red-haired? Hmm. No, I don't remember. I remember a guy with red hair, Ophis thought. This is most likely the one who bears the title of the current Lucifer. Do you want to hurt him? Yes. Shalba wanted to say something else, but the next moment a black snake, once given to him by Ophis for strengthening, burst out of his body. I won't let my brother be harmed, the girl said and was about to go back, but next portals began to open, from which magicians and demons emerged, who, by the way, immediately scattered in bloody splashes, who are they? They came along with. Who came originally, could they hurt their brother in the future? Ophis was worried about Ashina and Kuroka and Konika. Unknown magicians came to harm her brother by killing some Rias Gremory. Does Ashina have a sister? Yes, the Infinity Dragon sensed her brother's relationship with some girl who had been nearby lately, but this girl was uninteresting. As much as she didn't want to, Ouroboros removed the seal that Ashen had put on her and again heard the noise that filled her entire head. After listening, the girl tried to feel the remnants of magic and following them, find out where these magicians came from. Found it, a purple flash and Ophis appears in hell next to a huge castle, from which she heard several hundred souls of magicians and demons. Putting her palm forward, she squeezed her hand. A purple cloud appeared around the castle, taking the shape of a huge dragon's paw, which also shrank, crushing the walls. Stretching out her second hand, she clenched it into a fist and hit the bottom. The second purple cloud exactly repeated Ophis's actions, hitting the ruins of the castle, that's all, the last thing she said and returned to the roof of the mansion, eating chocolate again. Despite all the abilities of the ancient dragon, she never noticed that she was being watched all this time by a red-haired shinobi, using the sage mode and completely hiding himself, because now he was one with nature and full of natural chakra. He followed his sister using the improved seal of the thunder god and saw everything that was happening. Ouroboros? Ashen mentally asked Diedrich. Come. I'm shocked myself. Is there a dragon god in your sisters? Did this change anything for you? No she poses no danger to me and my loved ones. And she herself is not a stranger to me. What will you do? Nothing. If she is the infinity dragon then that will make my plans a lot easier, but will she be able to leave this world with us? Is she a dragon god? 
Is she connected to this world in any way? She lived in the void until the Great Red One came there. She can freely travel through the worlds. I think so. Little is known about her at all. Asterisk 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 Sirzex was sitting in his office, while on his table there was a bottle of one of the most expensive types of cognac. In recent days, the faction of the old rulers made several acts of sabotage, openly declaring war, but thank Satan, he managed to arrive on the scene and confront several of the leaders of the opposition. Remembering all this, Sirzex rubbed his bandaged shoulder, who knew that Shalba Beelzebub and his henchmen would have the snakes of the Infinity Dragon? Even despite his strength, Sirzex was forced to ask for help from Leviathan and his wife. Master, I have news, Graphia said when she arrived. Yes. Speak, nothing will surprise me, the demon lord said, drinking from the bottle? Almost the entire faction of the old rulers was destroyed, the girl answered her husband with a straight face. Peef. What? How? Sirzex asked, spitting out his drink. We don't know for sure, but we detected a strong outbreak of dragon power. Beelzebub said it was Ophis. At the scene of the incident, we discovered the ruins of a castle, which was the stronghold of the old rulers. At that time they were preparing for battle, so almost everyone was in one place. We couldn't find their base earlier, because they were covered by powerful barriers, the girl answered. Ouroboros did this, does she destroy her subordinates? Sirzex thought? We don't know that. Well, at least there's one less problem. All that's left is to deal with small pockets of rebellion and finish off the survivors, although I think this won't be necessary. The flock of sheep has lost its leader and it will be easy to take them under his wing with great benefit for us. Any more news? Yes. It has become known who Rius will fight against in the Raying Games. Diodora Astaroth volunteered to be Rius' first opponent. Ajuka's brother? I've heard about him. There are many rumors about his unhealthy interest in nuns. But his team is not the strongest, I think that Rius will not have problems with him, the demon said getting up from his seat and leaving the office. Where are you going? I celebrate. The problem with the old rulers was solved by itself, the demon said joyfully. You have a lot of work without them and you haven't finished it, Graphia said and a metal chain appeared in her hand, which stretched to the collar that appeared on Sirzek's neck. Pulling it sharply, the highest demon fell and grabbed his throat, gasping for breath, work, the girl said, looking down at her husband. Yes, milady. The demon blurted out in fear, returning to work. Asterisk 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 a week has passed since Ashen and his family finished training Rias and her feathers. To be honest, the former cage was disappointed with Rias and Issei, but he was not going to change anything or tell them. For what? He fulfilled his contract and it wasn't his fault that these two weren't serious about it. Issei could only shout that he could protect Asia, Akano and Rias, but he was not capable of anything more. Rias herself was a spoiled brat who had everything served on a silver platter. Did she say that she wants to be appreciated because she is Rias and not Gramary? What is she without her last name? Who is she without her kind? The power of destruction was given to her from Gramary, wealth was also from Gramary, and even her servants were found with the help of her family. What remains of Rias? A proud, capricious girl who brags about her last name to everyone right and left, but wants to be seen as an ordinary girl. Ashen could not understand this girl. He himself was in the strongest of the clans, and in the ruling branch. The surname Uzumaki was enough for him and he could live without a name. He bore the entire burden of this family, and when he disagreed with the elders or the old head, he proved his strength and right to defend his opinion. Now Rias will have a new test. Soon she will have a raiding game with Diodora Astaroth, because of whom Asia was expelled from the church. The cunning bastard sent an illusion to his servant, changing his appearance to his own, after which he inflicted a wound. The good nun cured the demon, for which she was recognized as a witch and expelled. After delving into the history of this guy, Ashen learned several interesting facts and realized that he would not leave Asia so easily. Confidence in this was added by the fact that Diodora had recently spent a lot of time with the Chaos Brigade. But enough about demons. Now Ashen, Kuroka and Sharon are sitting at the table and watching Ophis liquidates the cake. The cat's sisters were at first surprised by what the groom told them about this little girl. But then they shrugged their shoulders and went back to their business, now Ashen wanted to dot all the I's. Ophis, 
What do you think about the Chaos Brigade? Ashen asked, sipping tea and pretending that this was an ordinary question. Fortunately being the leader of the clan gave him experience in this. Who? The girl looked up from the sweets. You were collecting them for some mission, Ashen reminded, also pretending to be careless, but he was seriously interested in what one of the strongest creatures of this world was going to do. Im. Are they useless? The girl said, either answering or asking. Is that so? Why did you need them in the first place? They agreed to help me, to drive away the red Baku, she said, licking the cream from her fingers. Looking at this, you can't even think about who this girl really is. Why do you need to drive him away? He's noisy, he doesn't let me go home in silence. Do you want to leave us? Little sister Ophis, don't go, Sharon said, looking pitifully at the black-haired girl. I won't leave, it's nice and quiet with you, Ophis said after a couple of seconds. NYA. I told you she was a good girl, Kuroka said, taking out another cake and placing it on the table. Okay. Tell me, will you follow us? Will you go to another world? Ashen asked the main question that interested him. To another world? What for? There are several reasons for this. The first is that I don't like this world. I don't know why, but he seems crazy to me. The second reason is that this world will soon collapse. You know about the death of the biblical god, right? Ashen asked, to which he received a nod, then you know why he died. When I learned about the death of such a creature, I became very interested in this matter. He tried to destroy the beast of Apocalypse 666. Do you know anything about him? He is the embodiment of fears in this world. Biblical could not destroy it, but managed seal. I heard about him. He once fought with a red baka and lost, the girl shrugged carefreely. Shoulders. But that was a very long time ago. It is fueled by the fears of people, like the great red one and draws strength from the desires and dreams of a person. In any case, I don't want to be here when the beast of the apocalypse breaks out of captivity, and he breaks out. I want a quiet life for my family, that's why I ask, will you come with us? Yes, said the girl. That's good. If you don't mind, I will need your help. I have already prepared almost everything for moving, Ashen smiled and patted the girl on the head. Asterisk 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 days passed, Ashen and his family locked themselves in their mansion, completely forgetting about their studies and demons, only occasionally going out to solve minor problems. One day, Valley Lucifer appeared, reporting that Biko, who appeared during the battle with three factions, was nevertheless wounded and could not escape. Ashen was sincerely glad that he had not lost his skill and was able to deliver a fatal blow. Valley, who came to take revenge, upon hearing this, only became angrier and wanted to destroy the house in which the entire Ashina family was located. Valley was about to destroy the purple barrier that appeared around the house, but when he collided with it, he disintegrated into dust, leaving only the holy mechanism. The shinobi thought for a long time what to do with these artifacts, until he decided to give the white and red dragon to his two brides. Asterisk 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 Rias and Diodora's raiding match went as Ashen thought it would. Diodora managed to change the teleportation circle of Rhea's team, luring them to his battlefield, and then kidnapped Asia. Diodora's servants were frankly weak and quickly fell at the hands of Kiba, Akano and Gasper, but during the battle Issei was injured and was forced to stay with Kiba. Having reached Diodora, the red-haired demoness stopped her servants, saying that she herself must win and avenge her family members. Akano couldn't resist her queen's orders, and Gasper was too timid to object. No matter what Ashen says, the power of destruction is actually very powerful and the red-haired demoness defeated her opponent, but at what cost? When Diodora realized that he would soon lose, he, shouting, Don't let anyone get you, opened a portal in the interworld, where the girl fell, chained to a strange artifact, from which Akano and Gasper could not free her. Asia's death hit Rias and her team hard, making them realize that life is not a game and they could easily die. Issei remembered Ashen's words, about what could happen to Asia and realized that the red-haired one knew everything. Full of anger, Issei did not want to take the blame and pushed it onto Uzumaki. Having reached the place where Ashina's house was supposed to be, the lower demon saw only a quiet lake, on which there was no trace of the island and the huge house. Asterisk 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 dad, and Shiro again took all my kanai and lost it. 
A girl of about six ran up to the red-haired man. The girl's hair was down to her shoulder blades in the same red color, in addition, she had two cat ears on her head. Yes. How about training with me? Said a man caring for a small tree and cutting off its excess branches. Ooh. You will defeat me again, you think so? Hmm. Then call your brothers and sisters, your task will be to take these bells away from me, said the red-haired man, taking out a bunch of seven bells from his pocket, whoever cannot get a bell, I will give his dessert to Ophis. Dad. But there are seven of them, and there are eight of us, and Aunt Ophis already eats a lot of sweets, she'll get fat. And I won't get fat, a tall girl with black hair and purple eyes. The fact of the matter is that one of you will be left without dessert. You will have to decide who exactly, the man said, not paying attention to the cries of the black-haired girl. Laudno. I'll call them now, said the girl, running away to a group of children with the same red hair and cat ears. Ashen, NYA. Why are you pitting them against each other, NYA? Asked the white-haired girl who had a baby bump. No, I want them to work as a team and make the right decision. They must understand the future lesson, Uzumaki replied, hugging his wife and stroking her belly. Where is Kuroka? She's with her mother. People came and wanted our help, NYA, Sharon replied. It's clear. Many years have passed since then. The day before departure, Kuroka and Sharon asked Ashina to visit his mother and the Nako clan. During the conversation between the daughters and their mother, who became the headman of the Nekosho village, it was decided to take the entire village with them to another world. After thinking a little, Ashen simply sealed them all in a scroll and took them with him. The new world was calm and without any mysticism, which suited Uzumaki and the others who followed him to the new world quite well.